Hey, pretty faces. What's goody? Go What's goody? I hope y'all doing great this uh, Sunday morning. I hope y'all doing great this Sunday morning. This is an early live stream. We are back at it, ladies. We are back at it. We are definitely back at it. Carlissa Mouth, don't stop moving. We're going to react to some of her joints. Krishan Rock, latest snaps, possibly. Uh, the party they've been promoting all week. Probably got some Instagram snippets of that. But how are y'all pretty faces doing this morning? Thank you for tapping out and rocking with me. Thank you for tapping out and rocking with me. I greatly appreciate it. Definitely greatly appreciate it. How are y'all pretty faces doing? Good morning, good morning. Papa Blue say he outside. Papa Blue been putting that work in. Papa Blue been holding a fort down. Papa Blue been holding a fort down. Papa Blue said, I ain't got nothing to do with what the hell my scallywag baby mama over there talking about. I ain't got nothing to do with it. He said, I don't even want to hear it. Hey, Ken, what's goody with you? How are you doing, pretty face? Miss TR, how are you doing, pretty face? Thank y'all for tapping in. I greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all already know me. I'm getting this coffee ready. It is almost 5.30 a.m. in New York City. And y'all know I am getting this coffee ready. Y'all already know. Need the coffee. Need the coffee. Happy Sunday, though. God bless you, ladies. Happy Sunday. God bless you, ladies. I hope you ladies woke up feeling blessed this morning. Some of y'all probably ain't even been asleep all night long. <laughs> Some of y'all probably ain't been asleep all night long. <laughs> Hey, Miss ba Miss uh, Bosley, how are you doing, Miss Lady? Good morning, good morning. There go my pretty face. Hey, Trixie, what's up with you, baby girl? How you doing, Miss Lady? I hope y'all doing great this morning. This was a random live stream. I just gave it a title and added my description and went live. This was real random. I just, you know, I don't like my YouTube content to be feeling like work, ladies. I am not like most of these other content creators sitting on YouTube all day, every day. I don't got time for that mess. Sure, I'll give you a good live stream and sign off. I will be back later. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Tomorrow. But yeah, I don't play that. YouTube is not going to feel like a job. I'm on here to have fun, tell some jokes. I want to make you pretty faces laugh. I am not having no set schedule. No, hell no. This is not no white man time clock. This is my shit. I pull up when I feel like it. <laughs> and that's exactly how I like it. I am not going to be on here all day, every day. Right? We all got personal lives and life be life. That's a whole fact. 
Sometimes you need a mental break from this circus, right? <laughs> Sometimes you need a mental break from the circus. <laughs> Sometimes I be stressing myself out, cursing Carlos the raggedy ass out. Sometimes I just need a break from that woman mouth, like a whole 24 hours. I don't want to see no images of her. I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. No nothing. <laughs> Right, Papa Blue said, my God got me. He out here doing housework. Check out Papa Blue. He lit. He lit. Papa Blue out here taking care of the crib. Papa Blue said, let me get this grandbaby right, man. Real soon, my grandbaby gonna be running around this yard. Let me get this grass right. Said, real baby, real soon, I'm going to be chasing Junior around his goddamn yard. Let me go and get this grass right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Papa Blue is really taking care of the property. Maintaining the property. This is something Carlissa can't stand watching him do. And the sad part is, if Blueface left her in control of the house, she wouldn't do it. Her goddamn husband wouldn't get his ass out there and do it. He'd be talking about, I got a job. Carlissa would be talking about, I'm the mama. I ain't got time for that shit. Blueface would be paying for a landscaper to come and do the yard and his mama and her husband is laying in there rent fucking free. That's why he ain't got the ass in there. Shout out to Papa Blow. Someone's coming to this shit. Shout out to Papa Blow. He out here taking care of his son property, man. Oh, that look like the fake grass turf. That look like that look like the artificial grass. That shit don't even look real. Oh, nice. Look, he got all the weeds up. You see all the weeds coming out of the uh coming out of the patio. Yeah, he did his big one. That look clean right there. Yeah, that's dope. Papa Blue really did that. I ain't even gonna lie. He put that work in. Look at the weeds along the wall. You see the weeds that's growing along the wall? Damn, yeah, look at those wild weeds along the wall. Then if you look at the edge of the patio, where the patio meet the grass, you got tall weeds. Yeah, that's nice. Papa Blue did his job. He did his job. I like that. Papa Blue did his one too. So fresh and so clean. Right, so fresh and so clean, clean. Perfect song, Papa Blue. Perfect song. Yeah, he put that work in. Yeah, he put that work in. Yep, this is exactly why Carlissa pissed off. This is exactly why Carlissa mad. Rock with a passion. How are you doing, baby girl? Thank you for stopping by, sis. Rock with a passion in the building. Mongo was good with you, Mongo. Your channel is a comedy club, most definitely. That's exactly what it is. A comedy club, baby girl. That's right. A comedy club. Good job, Papa Blue. Yeah, he did his one too on that, right? That looked it nice. Papa Blue definitely did his one too. Hey, princess. What's goody with you? Good morning, Tyrone and chat. Y'all beautiful love. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Let 
let Carlos, let Carlos tell it. <laughs> and the house is run down and filthy. It looks clean to me. Team Rock, Team Papa Blue, most definitely. You right, I have to pick and choose her content. That picture of Carlissa with her tongue sticking out from the toilet. <laughs> Makes me cringe. God damn. Nasty work. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. I got to pick and choose Carlissa content wisely. And I can't get a daily dose of Carlissa every day. I cannot react to Carlissa live streams every single day. That shouldn't drive me crazy. I lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> I would lose my goddamn mind. Oh, that look nice. Wow. Look at the fireplace. Look at the weeds. Now, that's not flowers around a fireplace. That's wild weeds. That's wild weeds. That's nice. Damn, Papa Blue, you good. Papa Blue, you good, man. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he did that. He did that. Yeah, Papa Blue definitely did his one, too. Nice. Ladies, this is how you grow old gracefully. This is how you stay healthy, stay in shape. Tend to your property. Papa Blue got his old ass outside, out back where he belong. Where Carlos at? Trying to be the greatest scallywag of the goddamn century. That's where she at. Trying to be the greatest scallywag of the goddamn century. Hey, Sheeta, good morning, Miss Lady. That's where the hell she at. Trying to be the greatest scallywag of the goddamn century. That's what the fuck her ass doing. Be over here cooking. I know what you, when, that was, when I was fighting over them chicken bones. Girl, they out here recruiting daddies and shit. Got this man buying a walker. Knowing that baby can't get in that damn walker. He over there. God, then the live stream just started. You got Papa Blue and Junior in your mouth already. You got Papa Blue and Junior in your mouth already. God damn. He in cap as fuck. Girl, you got the wrong team. <laughs> Return that motherfucker to cinder. <laughs> Girl, I'm fucking done. This is too much. <laughs> Just return that Man. motherfucking shit. <laughs> he don't even meet Mago, the shade Margo, thank you so much for the super chat, figure pretty figure face. Show, I greatly appreciate you. you can see through the motherfucker. <laughs> thank you so much, baby girl. Carl, listen. She child. God damn. My grandma is Mexican and we say the bacon, bacon grease for the beans. <laughs> okay, girl. It's a soul thing. You just you ain't it ain't a color thing. It's a soul thing. Cause I done been over some white girls' house that can cook. Somebody gave them the secret. I'm just talking about the people was that was in the outhouse. They didn't really learn how we was putting it together. You know what I'm saying? How we put it together in the outhouse, they had that just that salt and pepper inside the house. You know what I'm talking about, girl. Hey, baby, leave him alone. It's, it's already raining? Did you get it all out or no? Khalil going to come help you in a minute. I'm going to tell Selena to tell you to come help you. You wouldn't know how to support anyone. You wouldn't imagine how many people I have supported. 
Okay? Everybody who got a deal, I was there to sign the paperwork. Everybody. From Blue to Krishan to uh, Cali to uh, Jaden. Everybody who got a deal, I seen the paperwork before they signed it. See how you don't know what the fuck you be talking about? Carter, leave out of here. I'm doing cussing right now. I'm doing cussing. I got some Negroes on this phone I gotta talk to. Let me, let me talk real quick. Okay. Okay. Wait, where's Lulu coming? In a minute. Downstairs. Go downstairs. I'm, he ain't on here. Go downstairs for a minute. So I can cuss for a minute. I gotta cuss somebody out. Yeah. I don't want you to learn how to cuss nobody out. Back to what the F I was saying. Everybody who got a deal, I was there with them to sign the deal, to negotiate the deals. I was there. That was my job. Okay? They ain't gonna tell you that. Now, which one of them I wasn't there for? And if I wasn't there, my son was there. My heir was there. Okay? My seed was there. Girl, I've been signing you contracts since my... Girl, you ain't did nothing. The only reason you took your ass down to Zeus and took Krishan Rock to Zeus so she could sign that motherfucking contract, goddammit, is because you ain't had no choice. Blueface wasn't driving. They was on bad terms and WAC 100. And WAC 100 wanted your nosy ass down there to see what type of money that girl was getting. Let's not act like you was Mommy Dearest. Let's cut that shit out. We know exactly why you was there. Her and Blueface just had a fight. They wasn't even speaking. She ain't even had no ride down there. Blueface was playing with the money. You gave her a ride down there to that office. Yeah, you did. Because WAC 100 wanted you to. Go see what that contract said. See exactly what they giving her. See, y'all feared that Rock was going to sign that contract, get a bag, and run away. That was y'all way of keeping Rock in y'all control. Y'all was playing good cop, bad cop. Your son fucking abusing her, and here you come to clean up, woman. Oh, you know my son crazy, girl. Come on, let's take a ride. We need to have mommy and daughter talk, girl talk. Let's go get something to eat and talk about what my crazy son did. Y'all was playing good cop, bad cop with that girl. Y'all was mind fucking her. Manipulating her. You damn right you took your ass down there to Zeus with her and dropped it because it was about some fucking money. And that's all you give a hell about is some goddamn money. Don't be sitting on here like you gave a fuck about Krishan Rock and wanted her best interest because you didn't. You wanted a piece of that fucking money. Oh, I had to read her contracts and make sure they wasn't trying to, you know, pull nothing over her. Well, what the hell you was trying to do? The pot calling the kettle block. You telling us you was there to prevent Zeus from doing exactly what the fuck you was doing. All in Krishan Rock pockets. Right. Always trying to take credit for something. Whether you was there or not, she would have signed that contract. Whether you was there or not, she would have been on Zeus. Whether you was there or not. Krishan Rock rented a car in Baltimore and drove across country by her goddamn self. Took a shot on herself she bet it on herself if she made it to la from baltimore what make you think she wasn't gonna make it from blue face house to the zeus office like carlissa you sound stupid it don't make sense the fuck my son was five years old then i signed two scholarships and i signed a uh, an attorney bill for almost fifty thousand dollars for that other child I've been signing deals since they was born. I does this shit. But y'all welcome. Y'all are very welcome. Yeah, they act like they ain't never seen the video. Miss Carlissa, can you help me read this paperwork? Cause I can't read. They, they act like they ain't
they ain't never seen the video. I was present, me, that was me. I signed the paperwork for the restaurant, the liquor license, each and every one of these deals. And my son had two deals. He didn't have one choice. I made sure he had two deals to choose from. Now run in, tell them other motherfuckers you got some, another deal over here and tell them to give you a couple more dollars over there. You see, Carla, so you talk too goddamn much. That's something you could have kept to your goddamn self. Why would you tell the world Blueface had a choice between two different deals to pick one, to pick from, and right now he's stuck in an indefinite slave contract with the manager he can't stand? Why would you tell the world he had an option? Because if there was an other option, he should have took that option. This was the wrong fucking choice. This was the wrong fucking deal, you stupid ass. That's why your son life is fucked up. That's why he taking extreme measures, doing desperate shit, abusing these women online. That's why, cause he's in a slave contract and he's not making no fucking money with that music, you stupid bitch. How the fuck you sit here with a straight face and say, I made sure my son had an option in which contract to sign, but he signed that contract. You sound dumb as a fucking rock. Why would you ever admit that publicly, out loud? He's in a slave contract, a 360 slave contract for the rest of his life. Yes, your son signed the same slave contract all these rappers and singers from the 90s that was popping, making millions of dollars, but they complaining about it now. Yeah, he signed that same fucking contract, you stupid ass bitch. If that's where you go, okay? God put the deals on my, on my plate. These deals is coming from my granddaddy, not yours, mine. Blueface do not have a good recording contract. This been a whole topic of discussion on many platforms. Blueface is stuck in a slave contract. That's not me saying that. That's not me saying that. That's not me saying that. Every major hip hop personality that have a voice had this discussion. This was whole debates on the Joe Button podcast, the academics, uh, fucking no jumper. Vlad TV, everybody spoke about blue face contract. You can find footage on that everywhere. You can literally Google blue face contract issues. Blue face slave contract you can literally type that in youtube search engine why is you having a long conversation about blue face contract no one has ever said blue face had a good contract never blue face can't tell you that because he never read it And that's something he admitted on The Breakfast Club. He don't even know what's in his contract. My granddaddy told me about these deals when I was five years old. Yeah, well, your daddy was born in a fucking right after slavery. Probably came an age in the Jim Crow era. Your goddamn granddaddy was getting his ass whooped by crackers. He was scared. He was oppressed. He said, Yes, sir, ma'am. Yes, boss. Are we sick? That's what the fuck your grandfather did. That was your grandfather man mentality. No, we knew niggas over here, Carlissa. We knew niggas. You can't spray us with no goddamn water holes and sick of police dog on us and think your crack ass ain't gonna get your ass whooped. Not today. Give a fuck about what your grandfather said, bitch. Thank you very much, Miss Ma'am. I don't see you talking shit no more, but you got you you get my drill. You know I'm mad when I start rubbing my fat ass stomach. Good afternoon.
afternoon, baby. We just I'm glad she said this out of her mouth. Now we all right. know who responsible for Blue Terrible Contract. Right, Girl, rock yes, with a passion. My granddaddy. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna let that comment sit for a while. That's a good he comment. One day, he I'm said glad she said star, you right. Everybody that come from you gonna be one too. You right, girl. These blessings came from my granddaddy. Shut up. I'm just sharing them. Your granddaddy was the house nigga of house niggas. That's why you online selling your soul the way you doing. Fuck out of here. Your granddaddy was in a big house sucking massive dick. All that white pussy walking around the big house. He wasn't thinking about it. Your granddaddy was sucking massive dick. That's why you on here sucking your son dick. The whole family lineage all fucked up. God damn. You and your granddaddy. Stop letting these people upset you. Like Dre said, he confused on real from fake. So don't expect them to know uh well they ain't supposed to know he only one supposed to know but you right baby dumb as a doorknob he said he gonna take some a time scallywag off ass won't move world. found turner so shout out dumb as a doorknob Goddamn doorknob won't move if you don't touch it. If you don't twist and turn that bitch, it will not move. That's how dumb the goddamn doorknob is. The bitch just sit there, stuck, stupid in the goddamn face. Dumb as a goddamn doorknob. <laughs> Carlissa wanna make jokes today. Tomorrow is her grandchild. Carlissa don't know you know you all she's more right she already said he had the restaurant and asked her to come in to help she acted like she was the mastermind behind the restaurant like that was her brainchild like she planted that seed nah bitch you came in on the back end you came in on the back end Good morning, Marsh. How are you doing, pretty face? Good morning. Wow, that's messed up. Right. Dirty South in the building. Hey, pretty face. Boy, ain't nothing like them goddamn Southern girls, goddamn it. South of the goddamn border, goddamn it. Goddamn. Goddamn. Any pretty face south of the goddamn equator line, goddamn it. Goddamn. Y'all pretty asses down there with that country ass sweet accent. Goddamn. <laughs> right, so what she is talking about, she's running her mouth too damn much. I swear she made my ass hurt. <laughs> I thank God for my mother, because if she was my mama, I would have been under the jail. Right. <laughs> just be fucking yapping. Go to my mama house every day just to break her goddamn iPhone. Just, to, just snatch that shit out her hand and just slam it on the goddamn floor and walk out the house and get in my goddamn car and pull off. Every goddamn time I catch her live, I'm just drive straight to her house, snatch her goddamn phone, and slam that shit on the goddamn floor. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> mama, you just can't keep embarrassing us like this, mama. You just can't. You can't keep doing this every day, mama. Think about your grandbabies. <laughs> Think about your grandbabies. They will grow up one day and see this shit online. Mama, you got to stop. I love you. I buy you a new iPhone and Marvel, but not today. You don't need to touch another eye nothing for the rest of the goddamn day. You heard? Here go a crochet needle. Here go some goddamn yarn. I need you to do some old lady shit. Here go a goddamn cookbook full of new goddamn recipes. I need you to do some old lady shit, goddamn it. Goddamn. Do some old lady shit, god damn it. God damn. Here go a bunch of gift cards. Go online and just order some shit. And wiggle your pretty toes and relax, mama. God damn. <laughs> but please stay online. God damn. <laughs> please, god damn it. You making us look bad out here, god damn it. 
<laughs> I swear, I drive straight to my mama house and snatch that goddamn iPhone, slam that shit right on the goddamn kitchen floor, and walk out the goddamn house. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with another iPhone. We try this shit again tomorrow, but not today, mama. <laughs> Ever since Callie flew her ass to Florida to meet up with Zeus Network, Carlissa ass been fairly quiet. She been coming online to talk her shit every now and then. But she's a lost cause without Callie. Dre not messing with her. Blueface in jail. This is a prime example of what she really have to offer the public, which is nothing. Nothing. If you're not exploiting those goddamn kids, you have nothing. Nothing whatsoever. You have no ideas for no show. Because you can't pull up on one of your children and stick a goddamn camera in their face. This is fucking sad. You've been online for years running your fucking mouth and you built no independent stream of income away from your goddamn kids. This is sad. Callie will be back next week and say, and we gonna figure out why, well, why I gotta figure out anything? Six odd should be popping. Big as your fucking mouth is, you don't need nobody else. You don't need nobody else. That's real shit, Carlissa. There's no way I got a woman in my life I'm taking care of every day and she run her mouth like this on Instagram every fucking day and I'm not monetizing that shit. What the fuck is your stupid ass husband doing with his tender dick ass? I'd have been broke that fucking iPhone in your hand. I'd have been broke that shit. And rolled over and went back to sleep on your raggedy ass. And wouldn't give a fuck about your attitude. You ain't gonna do nothing but yell and talk shit. You do that every day anyway. We in a good space. You on your iPhone. I gotta hear your loud ass mouth every fucking morning anyway. I might as well take your iPhone and slam it on the fucking ground because you're going to talk shit and yell any fucking way. Yeah, yell all the way to the fucking Apple store with your raggedy ass fucking attitude. Just enough time for me to take my ass back to sleep. Get the fuck out. I hope it's a long line at the Apple store too, bitch. Take your fucking time. Make the price go up. Alyssa, just real. If you know, you know. Okay, girl. She know. Your mama must be real. Right. That show the baby just a pawn for clout and for blue. Well, she raising her son without him, so I don't know. I wouldn't say that. It might start off that way. <laughs> we might have these babies for clout for the man, and then next thing you know, it's mama's baby, daddy's maybe. It might start off that way, honey. It sure don't end up that way. Cause y'all heard my son say, who gonna watch the baby? <laughs> His daddy. <laughs> Your daddy gonna watch the baby. That's who gonna watch the baby. Look, she just don't stop. Her mouth just keep going. She don't stop. Look, she back on Blue and Junior now. Look, she don't stop. 
She don't stop. The motherfucker that almost drowned one of your kids in the goddamn, goddamn swimming pool. That's who gonna watch the baby. The sad part is her husband is sitting right there. He's sitting right there. Dre said he's still homeless. He bet not be. Dre got more money than you this month. He bet not be homeless. She always exaggerating. Like she was throwing in his face online how she bought him a brand new car. You was walking. If I ain't take you to the car lot to pick out a nice car. Then the very next day, this nigga post a fucking hoopty on sale. He he fucking posts pictures of the hoopty online for sale. I said, Carl, listen, you talking like you bought this nigga a fucking Benz fresh off the car lot with no fucking miles. This nigga was in a fucking Toyota Corolla, a fucking hoopty with hubcaps on it, bitch. Like, shut the fuck up. Carl looked like he had over 2,000 miles on it when he drove it off the fucking lot. Where the fuck is he going to that shit? Where, where is he going in that car, Carlissa? Up the fucking block to the fucking mechanic? Where the fuck he going? He ain't need to drive that raggedy shit nowhere but to the nearest fucking mechanic. The fuck? And you bought him a car? with the money you owed him from the episodes that you didn't pay him for. So you really never bought your son a car. That was his money he earned for the episodes he shot for Six Eye. That was his money. He worked for it. He earned it. The money you paid for the apartment, that was his money. He earned it. You said he got a stake in the network, right? You say he get paid for every episode, right? The nigga was crying about he's not working for you no more because you don't like to pay on time. So he fell out with his wife. Instead of you giving him the cash that you owed him, you went and bought him a hoopty and put him in the apartment and then told the world you did him a favor. This is that trifling ass shit. How the fuck you did me a favor when you only spent the money that was mine's anyway? When you only spent the money you was refusing to fucking give to me. What fucking favor? I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. She can't say nothing. She gonna till the ground until she figure out what she did wrong. Good morning, Slim. She gonna till the ground. Where's the interview with Blue's dad? What interview? Don't nobody want to hear him make up no stories. <laughs> Is this a case of the pot calling the kettle black? Nobody want to hear him make up no stories, but that's all she do. She's literally doing that right now in the real time, talking about <laughs> this woman. You should start making them at least one hour. I, if, if, I promise, if 1,000 of y'all go subscribe right now, I will put out a whole goddamn movie. Because you know my mind don't never stop. We Leo, okay, we a whole vibe. 822. Uh-oh, we got an 822 in the house. That's She's definitely jealous. Yeah, she definitely did. And she definitely teal on the ground. She's definitely jealous, y'all. I definitely did not deserve that. I wouldn't know if the baby goes to the doctor or not. I don't get to be present for that. Yeah, yeah, because you're not a good grandmother. You know you are no good grandmother when the mother of your grandchild is a first-time mother and is literally 
learning mommy things as she do it. She's learning, right, how to raise a baby while she's raising a baby. I don't know no first time mother in a situation like that with her first baby, learning how to do things right, take care of a baby. I don't see no first time mother in that situation not wanting the child grandmother around. You have to be a piece of shit of a woman for a first time mother to want to keep you away from your goddamn grandbaby. A grandmother being present, being present when the mother of that grandbaby is raising that newborn, like do you know the help a grandmother can give a fucking first time mother? Not even a first time mother, a mother period. The grandmother of a mother's baby can make that mother life a whole lot fucking easier. So if that mother is refusing to allow this grandmother to come around her child, refusing to pick up the phone and call that grandmother for mommy advice. What's the best way to do this? What's the best way, all right, when this happened, how should I handle that situation? Like that's all things a first time mother would be comfortable asking the grandmother. You have to be a piece of shit woman if that mother isn't calling the grandmother, asking for parenting advice something girl talk if that's not happening carlissa you have to do some honest self-reflection take an honest look in that goddamn mirror but we know you are who you are you got mirrors all over that goddamn house you won't look in that motherfucker if you ain't looking at that goddamn raggedy ass goddamn lace front wig goddamn it you ain't looking at it All you concerned about is making sure that raggedy ass goddamn Morgan Freeman afro, that goddamn worn out Brillo pad isn't popping from under that goddamn wig or that goddamn hat. That's all you concerned about. You will never take an honest look in the mirror. Never. You run from that bitch. You avoid it. No way in hell. Junior gonna see all your bullshit, but before he nice. sees my bullshit, he got he gonna see they bullshit. <laughs> Mine gonna be last. <laughs> By the time he get to my bullshit, he gonna want my bullshit. Nobody is talking bad about the baby. Stop it already. Girl, yes, they 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 the main ones we talking about them. I see them in the comments talking about the baby. I see them. Girl, you didn't she start this live off talking about Junior, Papa Blue, bought that damn baby a walker. Didn't she start this live stream off talking about Krishan Rock Jr. and Papa Blue? Now people in the comments is replying to her comments about Junior and now she's saying y'all trying to start some shit. Y'all talking about the baby. You see the game she play? There's no way in hell she been married for as long as she's been married and don't play these bullshit mind games with that man. You will purposely start some shit To get a reaction out of this man, soon as he curse you the fuck out, you got an attitude. He can't touch you for a week. That's the type of shit these bitches do. I know you're kind, Carlissa. It's 
this Sunday. She the bitch that'll pick a fight with her husband right now and won't talk to the nigga for three days because she know she done motherfucking agreed to go and suck another dick Tuesday morning. Yeah, so she woke up Sunday morning looking for a reason to start a fight. She already told the nigga she going grocery shopping Tuesday morning. She looking for a reason to walk out the door Tuesday morning to go grocery shopping with an attitude. She need to be mad Tuesday night so she can have a reason to tell him I'm not in the mood. I don't want to have sex. She need a reason because she know another nigga done stretch that pussy out all day on Tuesday. She know Mr. Sappho can't jump in that cookie box to about Thursday, Friday. That thing got to snap back. She one of them bitches. She one of them bitches. trifling ass bitch she one of them bitches they my babies i can talk about them i'm the one gotta pray for them if their mama go to jail or their mama can't take care of them i'm the one gotta pull up so i can say what the fuck i want to you just can't because they not finna call you you ain't on the list thank you slim thank you slim i greatly appreciate you for the super chat sis I'm glad Papa Blue is keeping up the property value. Right. Right. Yeah, that's a whole fact. He's really handling his business. Absolutely. Definitely handling his business. Yeah, her dirty ass being that goddamn hot tub. Yeah. Goddamn hot tub water look like a fucking mudslide. God damn. No, I, I didn't get to interview John's dad from my show because by the time he got over there with them, he had changed his mind. Take my hand off. Don't say he changed his mind. That nigga never was going to do that. If he told you he'd do it, that's only because he told you what the hell you wanted to hear at the time so he could get off the fucking phone with you without a goddamn argument. Even if he did tell you that, you knew damn well he wasn't doing that fucking show. He knew you knew he wasn't doing that goddamn show. He don't fuck with you like that. You don't see that pretty young thing? You don't see that pretty young thing, Papa Blue guy? Why in the fuck is he worrying about a car, Lissa? Why is he worrying about you? You don't see that pretty young thing, Papa Blue guy, girl? You don't see this pretty young thing? Look at the motherfucking door knockers sitting up nice and pretty. You think he worrying about your raggedy ass? You run around here talking shit with a Morgan Freeman afro. If you don't sit your raggedy ass down somewhere, you think he thinking about you? Nah, for real, Carlissa. Like, for real. Like, look at that nasty, worn-out Brillo pad. Look like you were scrubbing car tires with your fucking head. Look at that nasty-ass Morgan Freeman afro, Carlissa. Take one look at that fucking afro, Carlissa, and then look at this little baddie right here. What is you talking about? You think Papa Blue is worrying about you and Mr. fucking Sappho? Look at this pussy this nigga playing in a day. You think he got time to be fucking around with your old ass? You finished out here. You ain't hit the wall. You got thrown up against the wall and knocked it down. You old fucking scallywag. You think Papa Blue is worrying about you? This man out here with options and a fucking baddie on his arm. You think this nigga what? Look at this nigga girl. Fuck you talking about. Get your hearing aid out.
<laughs> she said, y'all doctors, my grandson crawled late, walked late, teed late, he's not delayed, per his doctor, just had a wellness check, he's fine and smart, 20 months old, congratulations to you. Yeah, she want Papa Blue to be worried about her. She's the last thing on that man's mind. My preemie grandson just walked late, too. He, my preemie grandson didn't walk till he was almost two. So, yes, babies do walk and talk when they on their own time. Um, Carter walked at six months, though. Carter walked at my house right. between six and seven months. Right, Papa Blue living his best life. She mad. Most babies walk at like, what, 11 months, 12 months? See, she was, when Blueface went to jail, she was hoping Blueface let her and her husband go and live in a house. That way she could live rent free. You think if Blueface would have let Carlissa go to that house while he was in jail, she would have been in this house? She would have been stopped paying rent on this house. She would have got rid of this house. She wouldn't be renting. All of this stems from that. She want to be rent free in Blueface house. She want full control of his assets. That's what this is all about. Her and her husband have to pay rent and she feel like I shouldn't have to because I'm your mama. That's what this is all about. And then if they don't have siblings, they take even longer because they don't have kids running around playing with them all day. He looked happy. That's all that matters. When you seen him, he was smiling. He looked happy to me. Right. They all see our bullshit before they see anybody else's bullshit. And as far as I can remember, my grandma talked shit, and I still love her, and she all, and I still remember her talking shit, okay? <laughs> the grandma always gonna be honest with you and your mama. Right, Shelly. I don't know what she's talking about. My little nephew, my sister's son, is about to turn one in a couple weeks. He's already walking. I'm chasing him around the house. He's already walking. Last month, he was able to like grab a hold of something and pull himself up on his feet. Like if he inside the kitchen, he'd grab onto the kitchen chair and to pull himself up and to stand on his feet. And then when he get his balance together, he go walk across the kitchen. He go walk through the living room, right? Now, when he fall, he might have to grab on to something and pull himself up. He just can't jump on his feet, obviously. But my little nephew have balance. He can walk. He can walk. We could put him down on the floor and he's okay. And he's about to be one. How would any of us know if he could use a walker or not? Because babies, I never know no baby that small to use no walker, but that's just Jonathan Daddy trying to get some. Ah, damn. It's none of your business when Junior start walking. That's none of your business. Rock made it clear you will not see him again. He will not be a part of your life. That's that, that's none of your business. I think you need to respect that mother's wishes and stop talking about her and her child. That's what I think. I think you need to respect the fact that this mother do not want you talking about her child. I think you need to respect that, Carlissa. 
That's where all of your problems lie. Right there. Right there. You can't respect that. It don't matter what you say. Good or bad. Her wishes is to stop talking about her and her child. It don't matter if it's good or bad. She asks you to stop talking about them. So the moment you fix your lips to mention Rock or Junior, you're dead wrong in that moment. Anything after that is bullshit. It doesn't matter what you said. It's bullshit. You shouldn't have said nothing. And it seemed like you, you don't have the brain capacity to understand that simple fact. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Her wishes is for you to stop talking about them, period. Some clout. You see, she ain't post the damn walker because she probably looked at him the same way I looked at the damn walker. <laughs> Motherfucker. How about you get a teething ring first? You gonna go get my damn baby a full-blown motorcycle walker. <laughs> Get your ass on up out of here with that goddamn walker. Can he crawl first? <laughs> Get the baby a teething ring. But a, a big ass jungle walker. Like, like. Yeah, exactly. She's talking like he's only supposed to be in a walker when he's ready to walk. Stupid. The walker trained your legs, it's strengthening your legs. The walker is a place where he could bounce up and down his leg exercise. That's what the walker is for. It strengthens his legs. When he's tired of exercising his legs, he can sit and lift his feet up and let his legs relax. When he feel like exercising again, he could put his feet on the ground. He can work on his balance. He can work on his steps. That's what a walker is for. It's training, Carla, sir. It's training. He better use the motherfucker in Africa. <laughs> Nigga, trying to show out and do too much, looking crazy. Y'all know them babies don't get in them damn walkers till they about nine, ten months. That's a lie. Every baby different. Some babies is fucking built different. You got some babies in the world coming out the cootie cat looking like they goddamn one. You ain't motherfucking, you ain't motherfucking training and raising that big ass goddamn baby like you do a preemie. Every baby is different. That baby coming out the daggone kitty cat, 10 goddamn pounds, that's a whole goddamn young man right there. That nigga gonna be walking by the time he's six goddamn months. You ain't gonna tell that little nigga nothing. He's running around. And then gonna post the motherfucker without the baby in it. When you get the shit, you post the, post the damn walker with the baby. Put the baby in the fucking walker. You don't post the fucking walker by himself. Look at here. I bought him a walker. He gonna walk in this motherfucker one day. But this is all hate. She is so fucking jealous. This is pure hate right here. You hate your baby father so much because he got free reign over your son's property and assets. You mad because he's being a grandfather. He's being the grandparent you really don't want to be. You just want the photo ops. You want the photo shoots. You want scenes for your fucking Patreon. You really don't want to be a genuine grandmother. And Jayden and Krishan Rock understand that. They see that. Bitch, you out here cloud chasing. Why should I let you in my house? I tell you, no cameras. You will come in this bitch with a hidden cameras all in your hat. You have a hidden camera popping out of your fucking wig. 
You fucking play games like that, Carlissa. Can't nobody trust you. For now, I need some clout today. <laughs> Oh, she's a hater. Look at that evil ass laugh. That spiteful laugh. Deceiving, conniving, manipulative laugh. I couldn't sleep comfortable next to a woman with this character. I can't. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You the type of bitch to be in the kitchen cooking food. You spitting all in my motherfucking plate because you got an attitude with me. I'm in the bedroom watching a football game. You walking down the hallway playing with my fucking food. Doing shit to my food out of spite. I can't trust a woman like Carlissa. If I see these characteristics in a woman, I don't want nothing to do with you. Hell no, we can't get to know each other. If this how you carry yourself, hell no. Let y'all see him in the walker next year. <laughs> oh, I know my mama over here crying laughing. I know my mama laughing. I know my mama. Y'all mama don't laugh when people buy y'all stupid ass gifts for y'all kids. Like this man, you know. You the, you the Boy, jealousy is seeping out of her paws right now. Got me a girl's gift and I got a boy's gift. <laughs> you done bought me a girl's gift and I got all boys. <laughs> this motherfucker bought, man, I ain't lying, this walker got gears on the motherfucker. It looks like he got an engine in it and everything. This motherfucker. If it did have gears in the engine, that'd be a fly-ass motherfucking walker. A real expensive fly-ass fucking walker for his grandbaby. So why would that be funny? Why would you be mad at that? Why is that so wrong? If that walker did have baby gears in a little engine, that's a hell of a goddamn walker. That's a fucking, that's a granddaddy flex to me. Fuck wrong with you. That's a granddaddy flex to me. You would have bought Joya a $15 Fisher Price Walker from motherfucking Amazon. So a Papa Blue Walker got baby gears and a fucking baby engine, goddammit. That's a motherfucking grandpapa flex to me. The fuck wrong with you? Hating. I said, I'm gonna get some clout with this walker. <laughs> we gonna post this shit nine months early. <laughs> he tried my ass. You see, she ain't post that shit. <laughs> Look, you hear Mr. Sappho in the background with the ad libs? You hear Mr. Sappho bitch ass in the background? Well, at least the nigga tried. She tried my ass. You see, she ain't posted. You see Mr. Sappho in the background tap dancing? He promoting this shit. He condoning this shit. Fuck out of here, Mr. Yo, Mr. Sappho. I'm starting to believe you got, Carlissa got strap-ons in her nightstand drawer. I'm starting to believe Carlissa roll over on top of your ass. You don't roll over on top of her. She roll over on top of you. That's what the fuck going on, Mr. Sappho. It got to be. Ain't no way in hell. No diddy. No diddy, goddammit. No goddamn diddy, goddammit. Mr. Sappho. Not only is you a simp ass tender dick, but she strapping up on your bitch ass. Got to be. Ain't no way in hell she not. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Control to the bitch. <laughs> this nigga bought a, a walker 
Rover with a remote control. It got like five gears. Yeah, this bitch, yeah, this bitch is so stupid. Yeah, she is a fucking hater. Johnny had two apples, Mr. Sappho. Right, right. Carlissa is the husband and the wife. Right. This is crazy. Nasty work. Hey, Lady E, how you doing, pretty face? Nine months early, the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. She need a helmet of her own. Right. Good morning, mama. Good morning, Brooklyn. Mr. Sappho is a punk. Right. If anything happens to their relationship, she's going to be just as disrespectful to him. Absolutely. That's my whole thing, mama. It's all about one's character. It's your character. History always repeats itself. If I see this how you dog walking your ex online, then when our relationship goes sour, this is exactly what you're going to do to me. If not worse. If not worse. We could break up on good terms. I could be paying your bills behind the scenes until you get on your feet, still respecting you as a woman and a woman that I did love. I ain't just send you in the streets with nothing. I still made sure you had money, still made sure your bills was getting paid even after the breakup. I'm giving you the grace I know you deserve because you is a good woman, even though the relationship went left. Even if a motherfucker do that for her doing the breakup, she is still go online and trash him. She got to make content out of the fucking breakup. <laughs> she said the walker looked better than the car she bought Dre. <laughs> right. Fuck out of here, Carlissa. The walker had a better engine than that hoopty you bought your son. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Dre, Dre, Dre on a goddamn highway paddling his goddamn feet like the motherfucking Flintstones in that raggedy ass goddamn hoopty. God damn. Junior balling. You damn right he got a motherfucking, he done got a motherfucking exotic stroller. You damn right. His stroller looked like it got gears in the engine. That's baby Jesus. Fuck wrong with you. Fuck else he supposed to be riding around in other than some fly shit. What else he supposed to be in, Carlissa? Fucking hating ass. She's a fucking hater. The baby can drive the fucking walker down the street. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You always. If he can, once again, that's a flex. Once again, Carlissa, that's a flex. Yes, I could step outside in my nice gated community with my baby in his stroller. Fuck out of here. That's a flex. Daddy on his bike and a baby on a goddamn stroller. That's a flex. Walker, rather. That's a flex. Fuck out of here. These goddamn little white babies around here looking at my baby Walker amazed. He fucking a head up. Goddamn. Goddamn little one-year-old baby switching. Yeah, yeah, that's a flex. Fuck out of here. We on our way to the park. That's a flex. We pulling up on these young girls. Ah! We pulling up on them. That's a flex. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a flex. The fuck?
You bring your goddamn baby walk out here in the middle of the goddamn street. You gonna fuck the goddamn baby feet up in that raggedy ass, cheap ass Fisher Price plastic Amazon Prime next day delivery goddamn walker. Don't bring your goddamn baby out here in that raggedy ass goddamn walker. That shit is made for kitchen floors only. He can't ride on a goddamn living room carpet in that goddamn raggedy ass, cheap ass goddamn walker. <laughs> junior shit, junior shit, flies hell. He could he could go through the kitchen smoothly. The nigga in a the, the nigga on carpet smoothly. He he running across the grass in a goddamn walker. That nigga got all purpose wheels on his walker. He could travel across all goddamn terrain. Goddamn it, that sound like a goddamn durable, safe, expensive walker to me. Goddamn it, the hell she talking about? Her hating ass. Hey, I ain't that funny. You over there cracking up. I told y'all was hilarious. <laughs> Shit, when I started talking about them nothing ass baby daddies, one thing you gonna do is laugh. One thing you gonna do is laugh, okay? You gonna laugh for sure when I start talking about these baby daddies. This motherfucker ain't never bought his own son no walker. He told that nigga walk. <laughs> I ain't got no money for no walker. Walk, boy! <laughs> Get off your ass and walk, Jonathan! <laughs> this lady ain't shit. This lady ain't shit. This lady ain't shit, boy. She ain't shit. Yeah, this is dis <laughs> this is disgusting. Like, you really hating because he's being a grandfather to the baby. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't even find this funny. Like, you're mad at your fucking baby daddy because he bought your grandchild a nice walker. I don't get it. Like, it, it, it's, it's mad. You mad because you not over there. You mad because you ain't by the walker. He done went and got one grandbaby a walker. Now this motherfucker got 10 grandkids. He wanna buy a remote control walker. <laughs> yeah, he bought the- Oh, Mr. Sappho jumping in on a joke, so. Talk about, and he bought him a baseball glove. Oh, oh Mr. Sappho trying to be funny. Oh, he too young to run and catch and all that now. Hey, Mr. Sappho, you need to calm the fuck down before the butt of the jokes be on you. You don't want me to focus on your raggedy simp ass. I think you need to sit in the background and shut the fuck up, Mr. Sappho. You got one more fucking joke, Mr. Sappho, and I'm a motherfucking take the focus off your raggedy ass wife and put the focus on your raggedy simp ass. You got one more motherfucking joke, Mr. Sappho, and I'm a fuck you up. Post a baseball glove. <laughs> he don't know if the baby left handed or right handed. He just gonna buy a glove. He got a glove, Instagram. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, y'all. I just can't. I cannot make it up. Come on, man. Oh, all right. All right, Mr. Sappho. Mr. Sappho actually defended Papa Blue. He said, that's a man, man. That's just how we do. Right? Like, all right, Mr. Sappho. I like that comment. I'm listening, motherfucker. You got one more joke and I'm going to tear your ass up. All right? That was a good comment. I got that comment. He a man. That's just how we do. I understand that. And you right. And you right. A father, a grandfather, we would buy our child a baseball glove early, right? That's our dream, to see our child make it to one of these professional sport leagues, right? That's a dream for a grandfather. That's a dream for... So, buying a baseball glove for your 
grandson that's under one years old. That's not far-fetched for a man. No soon as he start walking, I'm gonna be playing catch out back with him. You damn right he got a baseball glove. The glove too big for his hand, but he gonna know what the fuck a baseball glove is. His hand gonna grow into that glove. Why you think other cultures and races, look at Chinese babies, go to China. Fathers and grandfathers raise their babies to be a professional at something the moment they come out that goddamn kitty cat. Baby can't talk. Goddamn Chinese baby can't walk. Motherfucking baby doing backflips and handstands and shit. By the time that little Chinese boy, 10 years old, he'll be able to jump and uh, kill your ass with a roundhouse kick to the goddamn face. Because they instill those skills in their children from fucking birth. Damn right my little five-year-old had a goddamn basketball bigger than him. You bounce that heavy ass basketball goddamn long enough, you will be able to control it. You strengthen in your arms. You're learning eye hand coordination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to feel the real weight of a real NBA size basketball as early as possible. The sooner you can control this basketball and throw it, the sooner I can teach you what to do with it. If you can shoot a free throw at 10, you can motherfucking shoot from half court at 15. That's what men understand. You damn right my grandchild got a motherfucking baseball mitt. That's not funny. That's not funny. He got a football too. The fuck? Man, this motherfucker bought my baby a goddamn walker. <laughs> now, when I bought right. him his, I bought him his set. I bought him a whole kid. <laughs> I got my baby the whole kit. I sent Krishan a whole kit for Junior, y'all. I ain't lying. He had the shampoo, the conditioner. Y'all know the kind we use, the mothers who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. I sent her the whole kit so she know, okay, this is what we're supposed to use for these type of babies, right? <clears throat> this motherfucker went out and got a walker. <laughs> she posted my gift. She did not post that fucking walker. That walker looked like it cost more than a goddamn car. That walker... <laughs> She, he ain't using that walker. That shit looked like it was thrown right, on the Right, Slim. Table. Right, Slim. That, he could have gave that walker to Jerry. Look how long she's talking about the walker, though. That's how you know she's jealous. There's no way you talking about a walker for over 20 minutes. We only 18 minutes in this live stream. 18 minutes and 17 For 18 minutes, she been fucking trashing her ex about the walker she been bashing him for 18 minutes about the damn walker this is nasty work journey <laughs> journey can walk in that walker it, it motherfucker had an engine a remote control or something to it they sent it to me y'all sent it to me Ain't nobody send you that damn walker. You follow that man on Instagram and got your fucking notification bells on. That man can't sneeze on Instagram without you getting a fucking notification. Shut the fuck up. Your simp ass husband probably got his notifications on for Papa Blue too with his bitch ass. Shut up. Could've got some baby food, exactly. Trash ass walker. Went and spent this whole Uber check on that motherfucker. <laughs> this 
motherfucker went and cashed out his whole Uber check to get a walker for a baby that's that ain't even crawling yet. Once again, there's nothing wrong with that. Once again, if I decide to blow a whole week's paycheck on my fucking grandbaby, if that's my decision as a fucking grandfather, where did I go wrong at? What was wrong about that decision? I ain't go blow it on no fucking prostitutes. I ain't go blow it on no fucking drugs. A grandfather should feel like that was money well spent. I don't understand where the hate is coming from, Carlissa. Even if he chose to blow a whole week's pay on his grandbaby, why is that so wrong to you? Why is that funny? Why is that funny? I blew a whole week's pay on my grandchild and I'm not hurting. Whatever bills I have is paid. I got money in the bank, money in my pocket, credit good. So what? I blew a paycheck on my fucking grandchildren. No fucking what? Once again, that's a grandparent's flex. There's nothing wrong with that. You should be looking at that like that's some honorable shit. You should be applauding him. But instead, this would he get. Instead, this would he get. You should be privately texting him. Good job. And not bashing him publicly. You should be privately texting him. Good job. And not pri uh, publicly bashing him. That's real shit. I wouldn't have posted shit neither. <laughs> it's a jump around and walk and a motherfucker do everything. <laughs> it ain't no jumper, babe. I'm just joking. It's a walker. I guess your ass is too old to understand, Carlissa. They manufacture multi-purpose walkers. Like a walker isn't just a walker nowadays. You could do like three different things with a walker nowadays. You understand that, right? You got walkers that's like simple walkers. Then you got the walkers that it's a leg strengthener before it's a walker. Like the walker actually have a floor. So the baby feet isn't actually on the floor in the house. Yeah, that's a leg strengthener. He can't move this walker nowhere at that stage. This walker is stationary and he can simply bounce in it to strengthen his legs. Then when I feel like I want my child to start walking, I can remove the bottom where his feet is touching the ground. Now it's a walker. Now it's a walker, Carlissa. Guess what? Guess what else this walker could do? I could raise it and flip it into a fucking high chair. My child could eat off this. Walkers is manufactured to do at least two different things nowadays, Carlissa. They leg trainers. It's a walker and it's a fucking high chair all in fucking one. So tell your husband to shut the fuck up. She said it sound like my tummy hurt. No, my hemorrhoids hurt, but not my stomach. Yeah, your hemorrhoids hurt because you full of shit. Somebody gifted her that. Yeah, her raggedy ass granddaddy, the baby granddaddy. <laughs> Oh, God. And he don't 
talk about the Porter grandkids, only junior girl. He ain't bought Journey no walker. He ain't bought. <coughs> Child, honey. What do you think about Blue going to Ray J Network? I think, I mean, if the bag was right and that was his old portfolio, I think it, sh it should be for sale. It shouldn't just sit on the rack. I think it was a great idea. <clears throat> I'm tempted to go watch it because right, they told me Trixie. not to watch it before because it wasn't for old people. But I'm tempted to go watch it now. Right. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. It was his baby. Just you wait. It looked, he definitely looked looked like Javon. To me. He looked like. Now she want to admit Junior looked like Javon. Before he ain't look like nobody. Before he ain't look like nobody. Then you came around a little bit and said he got your eyes. Then you backtrack. That ain't your granberry. Now he look like Javon. Like, make up your goddamn mind. Make up your mind. I know that's a hard thing to do for you, Carla, sir. But at some point in life, like, we got to make up our fucking mind. You all over the place with this bipolar shit. Javon. You need an Ohio State Buckeyes hat, Mama Blue. I know I got one. My husband Thank got one. Thank you so one. much I for the super the chat, Jazzy. Thing. I greatly appreciate you, pretty face. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate all of y'all pretty faces that send super chats and cash apps and show love. I greatly appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Comments is crazy, girl. Yes, I'm telling you, we be over here telling the truth, honey. We don't give a fuck who be mad. This the freedom of speech page. We be telling the truth on this page, honey. Babe, she said the baby don't look like none of them. Stop lying. <clears throat> whether or not she needs to do, but she needs to stop talking about Papa Blue around her husband like she is getting a hard on from it. Right, right. That's why I call Papa Blue a simp. There's no way my significant other is going to be sitting in my face talking about her ex, not in private, not in public, and definitely not on no fucking line. Definitely not online. You sitting in the same room as me, fuck out of here and i'm just sitting here letting you have a whole full blown out no fuck out of here who you think i am you can't respect me as a man as your man as the head of this household if you doing shit like that what man is taking a woman serious you so caught up in what your ex doing. Every time I turn around, you got your ex dick in your fucking mouth. And I meant that metaphorically, but God damn it. At some point, I got to start believing you sucking this nigga dick for real now. Like, y'all niggas fucking again. Got to be. Because every time I turn around, you online talking about this nigga. Y'all two have to be fucking again. There's no way in hell you ain't fucking your fucking blue face father again, bitch. There's no way in hell you're not. At some point, as a man, that have to cross Mr. Sappho mind. Why is she going so hard about this fucking man? It have to be that. And if it's not, bitch, you should have been sucking his dick this whole goddamn time. Because the relationship is over. You, you might as well been over there sucking it, goddamn it. Because you're going to get the fuck out of my house like you were sucking it. That's a whole fact. 
Jealousy ain't nothing. Please take care of your husband. Right. Right. Girl, that sound like that that sound like a song. That sound like bars. Jayden piss her off. So that's why he looks like Javon. <laughs> You funny. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. Might be some truth to that. You know what they say. When your baby daddy piss your ass off your whole pregnancy, that baby come out looking just like that motherfucker. You, <laughs> That's what they say. I don't know if it's truth to it, but that's been an urban legend amongst niggas since, I guess, the end of goddamn slavery. You heard? <laughs> that's been a folktale. Goddamn it. Grandmothers have been passing down for generations, goddamn it. Goddamn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true or if that was a plantation myth that migrated north with us niggas. <laughs> that might be that might be a plantation myth, a plantation folktale that followed us niggas to these northern cities doing the Harlem Renaissance and shit. might be some truth to it you know what my grandmother used to identify in this real shit my grandmother used to identify when every female in the pregnant i mean when every female in the family was pregnant my grandmother was the first to know my grandmother used to tell them like girl your ass pregnant uh-uh, Grandma, what make you think that, Grandma? All right, girl, stop, girl. Stop sitting here lying to me. Your ass pregnant. I know you pregnant. I'm looking at your goddamn neck. Your goddamn neck pulsating. Your fucking, you got, your fucking heartbeat is in your neck. That's how I know you pregnant. I'm watching your neck move. You know the front of a neck where a man Adam's apple is? I learned that from my grandmother. I learned that from, from my grandmother. Girl, you pregnant and you, and you ain't just get pregnant. That baby is developed. That baby have a fucking damn near heartbeat. I'm watching your neck jump. Next time you see a pregnant woman, look at her neck. I guarantee you her neck is pulsating like a heartbeat. You can visibly see the pulsation. He definitely, go look at his hands. His hands is a giveaway. Like lately I've been like, mm, yeah, that's the hands. He definitely got them hands like, um, Javon and my son. He definitely got them hands. They already look like grown man hands. It used to scare me when he was a baby. He probably gonna be like 6'5", you gotta think, because Krishan's tall. You gotta think that baby probably about to hit 6'5"-ish. He's not your grandchild, child. I, I, I was hoping not, but he might be. His toes is connected with no separation. Is that how John's toes is? Because John's toes is, them motherfuckers look like. Right. <laughs> them, John's feet look like blood versus Hey, Chris. pretty face. Long time no John's see, Miss Lady. How you doing? Flow up. You going to know if them feet look like Jonathan feet. Ooh, child, them feet something else. <laughs> them feet something else. They just look like they stink. <laughs> Junior is not going to be tall. He's stunned by his mother. 
just even if you had something going on, that's not gonna have nothing to do with your height. Let her tell it. She be sitting on a back fit spying. <clears throat> Call this a nosy ass would do something like that, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, you would do something like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'll blow your ass right off my back fence like Lil Ray Ray in South Central still in car radios, goddammit. I will blow your back wide open right off my goddamn back fence because you want to climb over my back gate and steal goddamn car radios, Carissa. I don't give a fuck. Nothing about your goddamn father, OG Bobby Johnson in goddamn prison, goddammit. You climb over my goddamn back fence, I'm going to blow your goddamn back open like little goddamn Ray Ray in South Central still in motherfucking car radios. Goddamn nasty work. Nosy ass scallywag. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to see a picture of him driving cook the internet to shame. We're talking about Junior. They talked about us all. We don't care. He ain't gonna care. Rock standing next to Blue, she tall. Good, yeah, she good. I miss y'all. Like, Happy to see you back, five, sis. Five, with your pretty ass. I thought ad. she was short, too, but I, she kind of tall. For a girl tall, not a guy tall. Not like my stepdaughter tall. Now, that's tall. But she tall for a girl. We don't care who baby is. Just yeah, she definitely don't need to see Junior. And deserves like every other child. Amen. Whoever said that, that's it, girl. That's what it is. Because he could be adopted and still need love and nurturing. He has rocks feet. He don't have nothing for blue. Javon actually cute and look just like blue from a baby till... Javon had a big head and looked kind of fun, funny as a baby, too. Even Jonathan looked kind of funny as a baby, too, though. I ain't right. Girl, I used to have to brush my kid's baby hair down. He, w he was a little funny-looking baby, too. All the babies be funny-looking. Except Callie. Callie was the cutest baby ever. Callie looked like a baby doll. Of course you wouldn't say Callie was ugly as a baby right now. She's on Zeus and will be back home next week with some fucking money. And you want the clout. Of course you wouldn't say Callie was ugly as a baby. Everybody else was though. Not Callie. Uh-uh. Callie not in jail when she not disowning you right now. So of course you would say Callie was the only cute baby you ever saw. In the whole wide world. Of course. So Andre and Jonathan, girl, I had to pull that baby here down. Let Callie would have been on her way to that jail to see that nigga locked up and you was babysitting that goddamn boy and not running around with Zeus making bag. Callie would have been the ugliest goddamn baby that came out your goddamn cootie cat. But because she with Zeus making money and not up at that jail visiting that nigga, she's the prettiest baby you ever saw. Carlissa, your bullshit is so transparent. Shut the fuck up. Callie will be next to hate on you. Girl, she already done told me that I can't pull up to the gigs. I can't pull up to her booked gigs. I know she fucking lying. She about to try me, y'all. Is Callie about to try me? Oh, she thinks she a baddie? Look, now you trying to force your way. You trying to force your way into her job. This is her work environment. She's under contract. This is how she get paid right now. If she don't want your scally ass wag around her clout chasing with your camera out, trying to get footage for fucking Patreon, she on here on fucking Zeus. She getting money for walk-ins, walkthroughs, just appearances. A couple thousand and a couple free bottles. Just come and shake your ass with this motherfucking crowd in this goddamn club for a few hours. Easy money. 
You think she wants your raggedy, scally ass swag around her with your fucking hand out, embarrassing her, trying to get exclusive footage? It's only a matter of time before Zeus get really Cali because Carlissa want to do too much. You know damn well, every time those Zeus girls make an appearance at a club, they filming for fucking Zeus. That's what this shit is all about. They put them all in one house so they can motherfucking fight. They send them all to the same club. They get drunk and fight. They back in the sprinter with a motherfucking attitude on their way to the next club. They fighting. That's what it's all the fuck about. That's what it's all the fuck about. They ain't doing nothing but pimping them bitches. That's what it's all about. It's being pimped. You think Lemmy letting your scallywag ass come interfering with his money? Your daughter is being pimped right now. Shut your ass up and stay the fuck out of her business. Let her finish being pimped. She signed up for it and she don't need you throwing no pass interference. She don't want to find out. She don't want to find out. Callie ain't never tried me in her life, y'all. Now, she got a little smart mouth here and there. But I know a lot of us, we done put our hands on our mama. We done grabbed them. I done grabbed her in some of the most vicious ways. And she ain't never put her hands on me. She's scared of God, honey. She's scared of God. She's terrified of God. Otherwise, she would have already gave me a couple haymakers, honey. I already know what it is. Yeah, she want to be Callie so bad. That's why I really believe that's exactly why she going to fuck up Callie reality TV career before she really get her feet wet with this shit. Zeus going to fuck around and not bring Callie back for season two because Carlissa did too fucking much. And you want to know what excuse they going to use? Carlissa told something we was trying to keep under wrap until the motherfucking episode came out. Carlissa saw something doing one of our tapings and she went live on Instagram and she spoke about it. And they going to get rid of Cali ass for that shit. Because your mama showing up at these clubs, being nosy, and then going on Instagram, running her mouth. You have cute kids, Carlissa. Thank you. But they wasn't that cute when they was little, honey. Girl. You see Jonathan with them, with them before he got his braces, girl? I used to be embarrassed of my baby. I used to be like, when we signed up, up here, don't for open it. your damn mouth, okay? Just keep your mouth. Man, that reality TV shit, what else is it? What else is Ratchet Reality TV? They find sexy black women, got them dressing half ass naked in the club, shaking their ass and motherfucking fighting. You're promoting sex, drugs, and violence. That's what America was built on. That's all reality TV sale is sex. I don't care what the scene is. They all dressed in two pieces, thongs, bathing suits, ass out, mini skirts. That's all they sell is sex. That's all they selling is sex. They traveling the fucking world recording episodes.
when these cameras not on, those women got every right to be somewhere sucking some goddamn Caribbean dick, making tax-free money, and nobody knows about it. Zeus paying for their traveling expenses, private jets and shit. We all in Miami, different states, club hopping. You don't think some of those women is selling fucking pussy? How naive are you? That's the best way to camouflage that shit. You don't need a OnlyFans. You don't need a back page. And you somewhat popular now because you on Zeus. All Zeus did was raise the value on that pussy. You charging more. Before Zeus, you was giving a pussy up for $40. Now you giving it up for a couple thousand. Before Zeus, you was fucking in the back of goddamn cars. After Zeus, you fucking in hotel suites on the top floor. Fuck you think them baddies running the fucking Dubai for? Because they letting them Arab niggas piss and shit on them and live out their fucking fantasies. That's why them baddies take their ass to fucking Dubai. That's why. Sex tourism. That's what the fuck is going on. Most of these women is dying to get on reality TV to raise the value on that pussy they already selling. That's all they doing. Bitch, you was in the projects in the back in the ghetto, broke, sucking dick to feed them fucking kids. What make you think I'm not going to believe you selling pussy traveling with Zeus? Why shouldn't I believe that? You was a so-called fake Instagram model before Zeus. That's how you got their fucking attention. That's how you got Zeus' attention. You on Instagram doing twerk challenges and shit, selling pussy. $60 FaceTimes, link in bio, serious inquiry only. Be cash app ready or don't DM me. B them bitches been selling pussy. When we go over here over my friend's house, don't show them that you need braces already. Callie and Blue wore braces. So right now, Callie is in her good graces. Yeah, but you don't put nothing past none of them. They human beings. All human beings mess up. Hell, Jesus made us. God made us, and look at us, honey. We be messing up. I don't put nothing past nobody. That's why you got to forgive them, because, honey, if Jesus wouldn't have forgave me, <clears throat> I'd be a hot mess. She not scared. She respect you. She both. She both. She both. No, you want her to be scared of you. And that's not a good thing. Why are your children respecting you and loving on you and not wanting to ever disrespect you because they are your children? Why that's not good enough? Why do you want her to be scared of you? She don't have to be scared of you to give you the respect you deserve as a mother. She don't have to be scared of you to not want to disrespect you. She simply don't want to disrespect you because she love you that much. It don't have to be because she's scared of you. That's some fucked up thinking. And it don't make sense. And you say this shit with a straight face. Like that's not a problem. <clears throat> you know when 
when Callie's daddy, when Callie used to get smart, her daddy used to check her. Even though we wasn't the besties, he would still check her. So y'all make sure y'all let them daddies be checking them kids when they be getting smart with y'all. I love Callie. She's such a free spirit. Yeah, that's that, uh, that Taurus shit. That earth shit. You should be hurting her either, especially if you know she's not gonna hit you back. Girl, Callie had, sometimes you gotta, did, did you read the Bible when it said you gotta hit them back? Did you read the Bible when it said you gotta hit them kids? Okay, there you go. Go read it again. Just say, don't spare that rod, honey. Girl, Callie used to steal my car, my keys. Sneaking around, acting grown, cussing. Carlissa isn't even talking about Junior. Why are y'all? Girl, they love all my grandkids. They don't went from Javon to Junior. I've seen somebody ask me where Callie's other son at. He with his daddy. You can write blue. I put the um, his letter information on my front page. You can definitely write him some love and some jewelry. Those Taurus girls are no joke. She a real Taurus, too. She ain't mixed with nothing, Jesus. May 10th. She a Mother's Day baby. <laughs> she a Mother's Day baby. They need to worry about their own kids. Girl, right. They over here talking about other people's kids. And know that baby over there shitty right now. She don't even want to change the damn diaper. He over there looking like his daddy, smelling like his mama. May 11th. You a Taurus too. I left her for a white and Carlissa still having you all talk about Junior. Can't wait for Blue to return to put an end to his answers. Praise God. We pray he do, honey. We pray he do. We pray he turn out to be one of the best fathers, single daddies of the universe, honey. We pray in the name of Jesus, honey, that John come out here and get all his kids together, honey. I have three, so I know what you're talking about. Stop worrying about a baby that has nothing to do with you has have several seats. <laughs> My mom is May 2nd. You had a good mom. I think Taurus women are some really good mothers. My stepdaughter a Taurus, Callie a Taurus, one of my good friends. Trevor Ariza mom is a Taurus. I think Taurus women are the, some of the best mothers. <clears throat> I admire them because they able to say no and mean it. Like when Callie say no, it's no. I be sneaking the kids shit. No, I needed to learn how to know me no. So I do admire that about y'all. Y'all know me no. It mean hell to the no, no, no. Javon's seventh birthday coming up. You know they ain't gonna invite me. You know they ain't gonna invite me. <clears throat> but the crazy part, I'm gonna I'm say this and I'm gonna get off of here. The crazy part is how they forgive, like, how the hell did Jaden forgive Jiggy before she forgave me? How did she forgive Rock before she forgave me? That's the stuff that tell you that people is fake and fucking phony. And when I see it, I be like, mm, you're weird. You're fake and you're phony. You forgave Jiggy and you forgave Rock before you forgave me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
please hit the like Let's button, ladies. Please hit the you. like button, ladies. I would greatly appreciate she was so it. Forgiving to, to was goody, GD was goody. Y'all seen her with Rock. She was like, that was the happiest was day of her life when she was kicking it with Rock. Remember that? Yes, yes, yes. She please the hit the like button. She got white girl wasted, tore up, tore up the house and said, fuck her nigga. <laughs> And have they have a whole problem with me though? I haven't did nothing to you nowhere near what they've done and finna do to the rest of your life. Oh, this is forty-five going on fifteen. Girl, right. Jiggy back daughter and was with Blue right. in Vegas. But I was already looking like, how you forgive her before you forgive me? I want y'all to just marinate on that for a while. You yeah, LI might real be working. Before you forgave me, because I had something about to say about what you said about me. But you forgave them, and you see how they did you. Girl, bye. That tells you right there, I ain't going to never give a fuck. Because I watched her forgive Jiggy and Rock and have the best fucking days of her life with the two people who wanted everything she had and didn't give a fuck about taking it. I'm talking about would have would have left her on the side of the road okay would have took her kids and went down the road and you forgave them too but had a problem with me okay you're so mad you're so fucking mad and i can never see my grandkids again right right because she the mama and she said so right it doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter. She don't have to be mad to say you can't see your grandkids. It don't have to be a fucking issue. That's your problem. That's her decision as a mother. I, it don't have to be an issue with you. You see him when I say yes. You can't when I say no. That's all. That's it. A mother don't owe no fucking explanation. That's your problem. She don't owe you no explanation. Those are her children. No is no in every fucking language. But Rock and Jiggy can kick it with them. Them your besties. Hating ass. Girl, bye. I don't take nothing serious. I don't give a fuck if she don't never talk to me again. I watched her forgive. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do give a fuck. Because if you didn't care, you wouldn't be talking about it. You wouldn't be talking about it. You would not be talking about it. You're talking about it because you're emotionally invested. It's burning your soul. You can't get up underneath those grandbabies with a fucking camera. It's burning your soul. It's burning your soul. Your Patreon on slowed up. Ain't nothing happening right now. It's burning your soul. Jiggy and Rock. Now, mind you, I already know what they're doing behind her back because I'm his mama. And I'm just looking like, so you just gave them a pass and this girl then just came back after you then gave her a pass and took your man again? Uh, okay, but you real mad at me. How you real mad at me, but you ain't real mad at them? She don't have to let you see the motherfucking kids once again and Jayden and Krishan Rock children are siblings regardless of how they feel about each other if they choose to let the kids be around each other and have a bond in a relationship that shouldn't be a fucking problem Krishan and Jayden don't have to be best friends for them to set up play dates so the kids could get acquainted with each other. They don't have to be besties for that shit. All they have to be is adult, mature fucking women.
And those play dates have nothing to do with you as a fucking grandmother. Rock and Jiggy can see the best. Shut up. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Make that make any type of sense. She was having a great fucking day, okay? <laughs> Girl, bye. She said, because you're cloud chasing. Well, what the fuck was she doing that day with Rock? Clout chasing or not? Because she sure hit that million. <laughs> Rock show pushed her over that million. All right, we know Rock pushed her over that million. But what that got to do with you? This the shit I be talking about. This bitch be online talking about everything that have nothing to do with her. Her life is in shambles. Her mind is boggled. She's lost without a GPS. She don't know what to record for this next episode. It's Sunday. The bitch probably don't have a new episode coming out. One kid in jail, one ain't fucking with her, and the other one making money. Down there in Florida, not thinking about her raggedy ass. <laughs> Carlissa, this is what happened when you clout chase trying to chase your children's fan base you and your fucking 50s your children in their 20s they core fan base is teenage women there's nothing you can do to get their attention i don't give a fuck how hard you try you need to be somewhere every thursday night making fucking bingo videos you should be somewhere fucking crocheting you should be somewhere painting and sipping with some beautiful middle-aged fucking women that's your demographic you will blow up as a content creator and you wouldn't have to use your kids or grandkids to make money you have your own demographic Every day you get online and ignore your core audience. Carlissa core audience. More than likely is women between the ages of 35 and fucking 65. That's your core audience. You online chasing your kids fan base. Ain't no young woman in her motherfucking early 20s giving a fuck what your old ass got to say. Ain't no young man in his early 20s giving a fuck about what your old ass got to say. That's why your Patreon stagnated. You, fo you focus on the wrong demographic. You focused on the wrong target audience. That's your fucking problem. You have a simp ass husband, that's your fucking shadow. Everywhere you go, he go. Why y'all two old asses is it making husband and wife content to fucking together? He wanna ad lib all this trifling shit you say. Y'all can have a husband and wife podcast right now. That'll blow up. Because y'all focused on y'all age group, y'all demographic. You and Mr. Sappho could co-author relationship books. Husband and wife shit. You could film your own reality TV show. Based around your husband life after the fucking military. How y'all met. That's a whole documentary. It's so many ideas for content and streams of income you have at your fingertips. You just so fucking ignorant and fucking stupid.
Girl, don't tell me nothing else about nobody cloud chasing. I'll tell you where the shit originated from. How in the hell am I supposed to know if he can hold his head up? Right, chocolate dog. Good morning, pretty face. How you she doing, don't, baby girl? I'm going to go online right now and post her whole day hanging out with Rock, hanging out with Rock and her family, hanging out at the club, tongue kissing Jiggy, forgiving and being besties with Jiggy. Okay, I'm going to go post those just for you. But that's none of your mom. Today I ain't she gave them. Okay? But I'm so bad. I did. I talking back about her. I did her so dirty. I wasn't cloud chasing when I was posting her pictures when she was 15 years old. When I was posting her ring with my son, was I cloud chasing then? Huh? Yeah. When she was jumping on my Facebook post when she was 15 and 16, talking about. <laughs> That's yeah, me. you was cloud chasing. Yeah. Uh, it was cloud chasing back then, though, huh? Yeah. Girl, bye. Yeah. She all over my Facebook from the time we met her until the, until she had my grandson and acted like she ain't fuck with. Yeah, I stayed giving her all the free game, right? Right? Like, that's just the man in me, right? It, 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 it's like, I don't feel good coming online having jokes and trash and Carlissa saying she looked like she got a worn out Brillo pad underneath that fucking LA cap. Like it, it, it don't, it don't, it don't feel good to say Carlissa got a Morgan Freeman lean on me Afro. They used to call me Joe Clark. Now they could call me Batman. Take the chain off the doors. Take the chain off the doors. The enemies are here. Yeah, she got that afro. Like, it don't feel good. It it don't make me feel more of a man to trash her like this. But she need this work because she come online with her old ass. She act immature. She disrespect those fucking grandbabies that didn't ask to be here, that don't deserve this shit. That's why I trash Carlissa. This is a comedy club. This is a comedy club. The banner is at the bottom of the screen. This is a comedy club all goddamn jokes it don't feel good i it don't make me feel a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, good on the inside trash in this black woman but she definitely deserve it but she definitely deserve it the goddamn baby don't deserve none of this how long she been talking about junior how long since he been born since he been born, she been having something to say about this baby. And it's usually nothing good. Why shouldn't I keep my foot on her neck? Why shouldn't I keep my foot on her neck? It's usually nothing good. She always got something to say about this baby. She never hold her trifling son accountable. Never. Never. In her eyes, Blueface can never do no motherfucking wrong. Never. But this baby shouldn't be slandered and disrespected. The relationship Krishan and Jayden have have nothing to do with her. So what they decide to let the kids go on motherfucking play dates? So fucking what? It's none of her goddamn business. None of it. She just yap, 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 yap. Yap, 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 yap. That's all she do. That's so all she fucking do. That's why her son ain't fucking with her. He got away from her raggedy ass. It's 
all she do. Yap, 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 all she do. Yap, 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 yap. Get this man his flowers. Why he can't get no flowers? Get this man his flowers. Nigga done spent the bag on the goddamn walker, and she spent the whole live stream talking about the goddamn walker. God damn. Get this man his flowers. Nasty work. For me, okay. What she was mad about was she thought she was gonna get all my son's clout and I wasn't gonna and I wasn't gonna be nowhere in the picture. Girl bye, this all belonged to me. This came from my granddaddy. I know you don't think all this came from Jonathan. Them motherfuckers ain't got a single solitary person in their family that could keep nobody on no goddamn Instagram live. This is all minds. You hear how she talking? This is all minds. Nobody heard of Carlissa until Blueface dropped Tatiana and felt like giving her some attention publicly. Nobody heard of you until Blueface became the rapper he was and decided to give you some attention publicly. Your grandfather what? Your grandfather what? Yeah, the family might exist because of your grandfather. If he ain't decide to jump up and down inside some goddamn pussy, yes, y'all wouldn't be here. Obviously. Obviously. But outside of that, what the fuck your grandfather did your son ain't do? All this shit is on the back of fucking blue face. Everything you fucking have. For no whole hour. I know you fucking lying. These came from my granddaddy. Like I said. And y'all welcome. Right, right, Slim. You talking about something from five years ago. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was 10 years ago. If I, was it clout chasing me? Go on my Facebook. Y'all send me a face request, Facebook request today. Go on my Facebook and, and go look back how far back I was clout chasing, okay? Go, for, go look back to when she didn't have no booty. Or Absolutely. I remember that. She will never repeat the real reason Jayden stopped the visits. Javon told his mother she was calling him Mother Effer when they was at Carlissa house. Anybody remember? Absolutely rock with a passion. Thank you for reminding me of that. That's exactly what stopped Javon from going over there. That's exactly what stopped him from going over there. And as a mother, Jane have every right to say, my child is not coming back over there. Your mouth is foul. You called him out his name. Not only is you live all day using profanity in front of the kids, but you calling my child out his fucking name. No. And Jayden is within her right as a fucking mother, as a parent. She's obligated to say, no, fuck you. You can't see my children. And she don't owe you an explanation for that, Carlissa, that I don't care if you're the grandparent. A mother owes no explanation when it comes to her children, regardless of how you feel. She don't have to explain to you why she don't want her kids over there. Yet, she still explained it to you and you still act like you don't understand why you can't see your grandkids. That's the insanity. That's the insanity.
You know exactly why you can't see your kids, but you will rant for an hour on Instagram about how you can't see your kids. But you know exactly why. God damn. Nothing, Jesus. Okay, go back and look how far back I've been clout chasing. And you tell me which one of us done switched up. I want to know who really clout chasing. Go back and look. I've been doing what I've been doing. Okay? Carlissa, we gonna nominate you for a Scallywag Hip Hop Award. I think I'm gonna put together this award, motherfucking company, goddammit. All of the Scallywags of hip hop. You could be a baby mama, a mama, you could be a side piece, you could be a guy. Goddamn. Goddamn Scallywag Hip Hop Awards, goddammit. Goddamn. Every year, the winner get a goddamn trophy of Carlissa raggedy ass, goddammit. You get Carlissa with the Morgan Freeman lean on me afro. Yes, yes, we gonna make a gold Carlissa trophy with the fucking afro. No hats, no wigs, just the fucking afro, you heard? And we gonna have Scallywag Hip Hop Awards every goddamn year. Goddamn. The first year goes to her. God damn it. God damn. I've been doing what I've been doing. Go right on over. My Facebook is my same name. And make sure you go through all them fucking clout chasing ass pictures. Okay? Because I bought her her first ring. I spent $100 and gave her my chicken. Okay? She played dumb my too much for me. Thank you for the super chat, pretty face. I greatly appreciate you. 14. Okay? Was it clout chasing in? Because they didn't have no clout then. Call it what the fuck you want to. Put a K on it. Clout Rissa. Put a K on it. I don't give a fuck. Mm-mm, go on over there to my Facebook. I got pictures of her when she ain't had no booty or nothing, okay? When yeah, she looking like, leg. Yeah, she looking like Morgan Freeman in the face. Yeah, she looking like Morgan Freeman in the face. Hold on, ladies. I need this bumper. I catch y'all on the flip side. I need this bumper because I'm going to chop this live stream up and make some videos. I got to squeeze this intro in here right quick. I catch y'all on the flip side. We be right back. Hey, Ty oh my God, Tyron Motif, this, you're the person I just went live for. You made me cry. You made me cry because you just, I just know you, you feel a real nigga. When you feel a real nigga, you just feel so lit. Tyron, 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 Are back pretty faces we are back pretty faces please give this live stream a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you're not and if you're not my feelings are definitely hurt y'all know i'm a punk ass mushy mushy goddamn cancer god damn it turn your notification bells on and let's get back into the scallywag ratchet ass mouth thanks i've been cloud chasing off of Jaden since before she even had some cloud okay I've been happy to have her as a, as, as in my family way back when, okay? So don't let her lie to y'all. Don't let none of these motherfuckers lie to y'all. I've been posting my kids, whether they was in the jailhouse or, or in the White House. I've been posting them since day fucking one. I post them when they had Ds and Fs and when they had As and Bs. I posted these motherfuckers when they didn't score a goddamn point on the field. All the way up until they did score on the field. I supported the motherfuckers when they went in the audition and, and, and blew the whole audition, okay? I've been posting them way before then, okay? My son's first headshots, he was five years old. I was clout chasing them. I ain't finna change for y'all, her, her right. mommy, or nobody else, okay? Right, Shelly. You gonna get what the fuck I give. 
If you don't like it, exit the building. Yeah, she got the Morgan Freeman afro up under that hat. Don't get there and get no real pictures now. I'll go get their real pictures when the motherfuckers have braces and flat asses. I got all that shit. I got braces and flat asses, acne bumps and some. You're supposed to have all that. You're supposed to have those pictures. You're the mother. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. You want a trophies and awards and monies for you to do what you're supposed to do. Ain't nobody force you to lay on your back and bust that kitty cat open and make them goddamn kids. Nobody forced you. What reward is you looking for? What compensation is you looking for? You was compensated when you was busting that kitty cat open. A nigga don't owe you shit for busting your kitty cat open. Not even your fucking kids. That's your goddamn problem. They don't owe you a motherfucking thing. No matter how rich they get, no matter how much they succeed, your children do not owe you a motherfucking thing. You decided to bust that kitty cat open. You decided to give birth. Whatever you sacrificed, whatever you did as a fucking mother, you were supposed to, and you shouldn't be looking for a motherfucking thing for it. Most shit, honey. I've been clout chasing a long time off these kids, and I'm and I'm going and I'm going to continue to, cause I gave them my last piece of chicken and my last hundred dollars. Now I'm sure y'all got something to do today. I didn't. I done been on here long enough, giving y'all my clout chasing lessons. When your granddaddy put a dream in your heart, make sure you don't fart. Okay. Now the dream your daddy put in your heart got something to do with Blue Blueface signing a slave contract to WAC 100, being a one-hit wonder, fucking his life up, sitting in jail. Your other son want nothing to do with you. Like, that's the dream your grandfather put in your heart? It have to be, because that's exactly what the fuck is going on. These Robert Harvey uh, blessings, these ain't got nothing to do with none of them, none of the Malones, uh, none of them, uh, whatever, Andrews, uh, this one or that one, this ain't got salute, nothing salute, to do with Salute, 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 what's goody? Okay, if it did, they would have got it and they would have shared it. It's the other way around. I've been working on this TV shit with Jonathan before y'all, before he knew how to count good, okay? And definitely before she knew how to count. So what you want to do is go ahead on right on over to my Facebook. Because y'all need to get to know me. Because y'all should know by now I ain't finna shut the fuck up and I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Okay? We gonna learn today. Go on over to my Facebook. We know you not. We know you ain't gonna shut up. Trust me, I know. Trust me, I know. You keep being ignorant. You keep running your mouth. I'm going to keep coming back with another live stream. Yes, help me help your raggedy ass. Yes, I'm giving you what you want. You heard? I want the content. You want to stay in the algorithm. Teamwork make the dream work, you raggedy son of a bitch. Yes, yes. You keep this immature, ignorant shit up, and I promise you, I will be back with another video. Yes. Facebook, go through all the pictures from the beginning. I want you to go back to when the motherfuckers had acne braces and flat asses. Okay, go on down there, go on down yonder, and check out my page, and you will see. What's goody, what's goody, what's goody? I've been talking about these kids, praying for these kids on there, talking shit about these kids on there. Yeah, she's definitely evil. Them, the braces, the chicken, all this. I've been talking about all this shit for 20 years. Definitely evil. How did his daddy help you? Thank you, you sis. Up, Thank you, sis. And, 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 and that was it. That, that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> I'm in my bag. He sure ain't gave nobody no last piece of chicken. Okay. <laughs>
once I'm again, the bad. sacrifices you made as a motherfucking parent isn't worship worthy. Nobody should be praising you for the sacrifices you made as a fucking parent. And that goes for both parents. Stop looking to be glorified for your sacrifices you made as a mother. You were supposed to do that. Ain't nobody force your whole ass to lay on your back and bust that kitty cat open. You made them fucking babies. Whatever hardship and sacrifice you went through, God damn it, got, it was well deserved. It was well deserved. You wasn't worrying about no sacrifices and hardship when you was bouncing up and down on that dick. So shut the fuck up. Go on my nephew's live with my sister. Yes, because my sister will show tell you this how I been. I'm the mother on the football field talking shit to the to the coaches and the team and the other players and my child. And I don't give a fuck which one of y'all is standing over there talking about, ma'am, could you be quiet? No, ma'am, I cannot. I wasn't raised like that. She said, I missed it. What happened? Girl, they over here talking about I'm clout chasing again. I said, go on over to my Facebook and see how long I've been clout chasing. And come back and tell me if you think I'm going to give a fuck because you said I'm clout chasing. I said, put a K on it. Okay? Clout Rissa. Make sure you spell it right. Every time I see Jaden, I think about the chicken. <laughs> She said every time she see Jay, she think about the chicken. Girl, yeah, and I want you to think about how she didn't clean the bone. And we're going to leave that right there. She ain't clean nail bone. Yep, I bet you clean a bone that bit in your motherfucking mouth. Topsy, turzy, sloppy, toppy, the goddamn cleanup woman. Three kids and needed DNA tests for all goddamn baby goddamn daddies. Goddamn. And Dre still don't know his goddamn daddy. Goddamn. You was cleaning a whole lot of goddamn bones. Goddamn. How many babies you done left at the motherfucking chop shop? I mean Planned Parenthood. How, how, how many you left there in the motherfucking garbage can? Goddamn. I'm quite sure you was teaching Jayden how to clean a motherfucking bone. I'm quite sure you was, goddammit. Tell us about your felony charges, Clout Rissa. I got one felony charge, and that's for whooping somebody ass for telling my kids that I was a lesbian. What else you need to know? Main is on live. Go request so he so we can laugh. Clout Rissa with a K. Come on now, girl. You can't spell. I pray you and Jay make up. Those grandkids love you. Girl, that's the part that I don't get. How do you care about... How do you not care about what they care about? Exactly. Just because me and Callie get into it don't mean that got nothing to do. Yeah, we were supposed to. I think that's when you had the other channel name. I I, I lost track of your channels because I know you be uh I know you changed channel names. That was a different channel name, so I didn't even know you was her until recently. Yeah, that's I'm saying that was the issue. I didn't know, but yeah, I remember we were supposed to meet on Jamaica Avenue when 50 Cent was filming episodes for uh, Raising Canaan. Definitely. To do with Carter or her kids or her other son, uh, Jesus Pomelaren. Okay, just because me and Callie ain't seeing eye to eye one day or I say... I ain't fucking with you no more. You act just like them two brothers of yours. Y'all can all kiss my da 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 da. That don't got nothing to do with my grandkids. And when she cut, when Jaden cuss her mama out, it don't have nothing to do with the kids either. So you see how biased that is. 
she could go get she could go in on her mama they could go in on each other because they do but that don't stop her from getting to see her grandkids but that's okay because god will fix it to where i can see my grandkids whenever i want to if i ask them to god I damn she going that. on and talking, on god the damn Lord, no okay right now i'm letting her try to figure that out and resolve that in her own mind but you can best believe if I go to God and tell him that I got they got some kids down here that belong to me that I can't see, he will fix it so that I can. Girl, God you gonna run your somebody. motherfucking ass to hell that God damn. I see why Blue don't fuck with you. What you mean he don't fuck with me? He, he don't fuck with you. You just seen my son on my show before he went to jail. You just seen my son post that the only real home he ever had that he loved to go home to was his mama house. So what you see is when I don't agree with his bullshit, he don't fuck with me. But you know my right, son Shelley. wish he could fuck with me. Get it together. You didn't bring it up here? It's downstairs. Why did Blue say he hates you? Something is definitely don't. wrong with because her mother trying to make we money the only kind of off he her finesse. kids. He can't finesse right. with no bullshit. What? Off the mistakes they make, right. I don't know. Go call him on your phone. Go call his mom and She must not remember how she dragged Jayden and her family. No Leo, that's why. why would she let like, right? Right. She bullshit. did Jayden dirty. <laughs> Talked about Jay you know, and Mama like a dog. No but motherfucking body on our face, our arms, and none of that shit. Talked you about know, Jay and Mama like a dog. Slim, thank you for another super chat. I greatly appreciate you, pretty face. Can she please stop using God's name in vain? Right, because she going straight to hell with gasoline draws on, you heard? Yeah, that's exactly what she going. Straight to hell, you heard? I don't even know why. They ain't got ice water down there. They ain't got nice exotic blunts down there. Nah, they ain't got no comfortable pillows. They ain't got no good dick down there. Just hot ass flames, Carlissa. Where the fuck you need to be? God damn. She going straight to hell. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Listen to none of that bullshit and I'm gonna stand there right in your face tell you but thank you so much for the wrong. super chat slim i and, greatly and appreciate you, you baby girl last fucking piece of chicken that's why he don't fuck with me because when he was gonna call himself not fucking with the baby i wasn't i wasn't on that right that was old so footage was blue cool, didn't mess with her that point hey yo she think we're just as stupid as she is right you gotta understand she think we is just as stupid as she is Sit on here. Like we don't remember. Like we got amnesia. Like we got selective memory. Yeah, she think we as dumb as her. God damn it. She ain't got no brain under that Morgan Freeman lean on me afro. She ain't got not one goddamn brain cell. God damn. Here tell no don't no kids fuck with me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he tattooed Jaden. Did, did I tell y'all that story too? Or do y'all need me to tell y'all since y'all fucking think y'all know my kids? Jonathan got Jaden's name tattooed because she was hollering and screaming when she had her, when she had Javon. And I, that was the way we got her to stop hollering and screaming. So I told Jonathan, I said, you tell her that you're going to go get her name tattooed on your arm if she stops screaming in that hospital bed. Now at the time... What do a tattoo he's going to get in the future got to do with the pain and agony she's going through pushing this baby down her fucking birth canal? What type of shit is that? Carl, listen, you're the fucking toxic one. You're the fucking problem. How about hold her hand, comfort her? How about that? Rub her tummy. Let her know you got her. You there. She ain't alone. This light work, baby. You gonna get through this shit? What the fuck a tattoo got to do? What the hell that got to do with the shit she going through? 
her goddamn water broke and she's in goddamn pain. What the fuck a future tattoo is going to do to help that in that moment? What the fuck is you talking about, Carlissa? This shit is crazy. She said that shit with a straight face. Go in there and tell Jayden if she stop hollering, you're going to get a tattoo. You're going to get her name. What the hell that got to do with the pain she's going through? How is that helping? How? Thank you so much for the super chat, Robin. I greatly appreciate you, pretty face. I greatly appreciate y'all ladies. Thank you for the super chats and thank y'all for the cash apps. Thank you. I got a few cash apps too, but uh, y'all women that send me cash apps don't want it public. Y'all don't want me to shout y'all out. So I see the uh, I see the cash app notes. I'm showing you live, but you don't got to shout me out. Thank you. I appreciate y'all too. This is nasty work, Carlissa. Yes, the Morgan Freeman lean on me afro. They used to call a Joe Clark. Now they could call a Batman, goddammit. Take the chain off the doors. The enemies are here. Code 10, code 10. Goddamn. You smoke crack, don't you? Well, it's the same as jumping. You might as well jump. It's killing your brain cells, son. It's killing your brain cells. Carlissa, this fucking circus is killing your brain cells, goddammit. You might as well just fucking jump. Stop fucking around and jump. You smoke crack, don't you? Goddamn. I didn't know it was a nine-pound baby. I would have told him, let her scream all she want to scream. Because John Javon was nine pounds on that little bitty girl. So... That's how she ended up getting a tattoo. Yeah, so she then stayed when lying. Had, when she had the baby and she stopped screaming, he had to be a man of his word. Now, he going to be a man of his word. At the end of the day, that's one thing he was going to do. So when he went and got her name tattooed, that was, a, that was a push gift for shutting the fuck up, embarrassing him because he was about to lose his mind in there. When he got the tattoo, that was a push gift. and go ziggity boo when she was hollering and screaming in there while she was having that baby. Can't nobody me tell you this me. But me and her mama. Cause wasn't nobody when you're me. not strong, me, I was on the FaceTime. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a problem that I understand. We all need somebody to lean on. <laughs> you remember when they was in the bathroom? Fair East Side. <laughs> Now you better know the school song. <laughs> Lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Just call on a brother. When you need a hand, cause we all need a money to lean on, lean on, <laughs> lean on. My, my, my. My, look at Carl, listen. My little songbirds in the cafeteria. God damn, Carl, listen. Leave them goddamn kids alone. Every time I turn around, you messing with them goddamn kids. Leave them goddamn kids alone, Carl, listen. 
Ain't you my little songbirds from the cafeteria? Carl, listen, goddammit. That goddamn Morgan Freeman afro, goddammit. Tell me that ain't Morgan Freeman afro. I'm tired of this goddamn bitch. Tell me that's not Morgan Freeman afro. Tell me this raggedy bitch don't look like fucking Morgan Freeman or fucking lean on me. She talking about these goddamn kids like this. I'm tired of her raggedy ass. I am tired of her raggedy ass mouth. Nah, classic movie. This was my favorite movie of all times as a kid. I just had to play this scene because Carlissa showing her ass. Carlissa showing her ass. She been all in these goddamn kids business since the goddamn 80s up at East Side goddamn high. She done gave up a career as a goddamn principal to be a goddamn Hollywood hoe. She can't give that kitty cat away up right now, goddamn it. Goddamn. Goddamn. Carlissa, you better leave me alone, girl. Carlissa, you better leave me a goddamn long, girl, goddamn it. You better leave me uh, alone. Because I was in Ohio. And my son called me, the one that you said don't fuck with me, and said, well, her mama sitting right there and my sister sitting right there. Mama, what can we do? She hollering and she's screaming. What can I do? So I said, let me look at her. I, so he put the phone on her face, and she was hollering and screaming like somebody, like a, like a monster lady. Hollering and screaming and spitting and everything in pain. And I said, Jonathan, she can't handle baby laying down, son. You got to lift her up. She, why they got her laying down? Her mom was, I was a wreck when Callie had her baby. So her mom was over there in the chair and she was balled up in a knot. Her daughter was in pain. And she, you know how the kids do us. Leave me alone, mom, leave me alone. I said, Jaden, sit up in that chair. Sit your ass up now. I know that's my, how you got pregnant, but that ain't how you finna have this baby. So you know you when your mama get in there and she gets stern with you. Sit your ass up and put your feet in them in them things, in them stirrups. Now I ain't never had no baby natural, but I can coach you through anything. Okay, I ain't do the shit, but I'ma coach you through it. I didn't tell her that at the time. I didn't want her to not trust me. You know how I be. So I said, sit up, baby. You got to sit up and have this baby. You can't lay down. That's why you're in pain. So she sat up. I said, now see, don't you feel in control? I said, now, Jonathan, you got to promise her something that's going to take her mind off that pain. I said, tell her where you show her where you're going to get her name tattooed at on your body. He looked at me and said, huh? I said, hey, you got to give something to get something. You want your baby out of there or not? So I, he said, okay, I, I, Jaden, if you stop screaming, I will get your name tattooed. She said, you promise? You promise? You promise? She said it like three times. So you I promise? Carlissa, you sound too immature on this goddamn internet like this. There was a time back in the days where you inspired the youth. You motivated the youth, Carlissa. The only thing that didn't change is you still got your lean on me, Morgan Freeman Afro. Now you acting like one of the goddamn kids. You used to inspire these goddamn children. Giving motivational speeches and shit. Whatever happened to that, Carlissa? Whatever right, happened? People, here we are. This is the day. This is the day. In one hour, you are going to take an exam administered by the state to test your basic skills and the- Carlissa, you used to love the kids. Whatever happened to this? You wanted the best for them goddamn grandkids. What happened, Carlissa? Was it drugs? What happened? Been a long time ago. Carlissa ain't lying. Carlissa know from experience. She done banded her life in goddamn Ohio for a Hollywood dream of sucking dicks. Goddamn. This was back when Carlissa was a goddamn school principal inspiring the youth of New Jersey. She inspired them. She put education first, state exams. 
She ceased the violence in the school. She got rid of the drug selling, the graffiti on the walls. She turned the school around before the state took it over again. What happened to this Carlissa? This is the Carlissa we know. What happened to the Carlissa with a good heart? God damn, Carlissa. All we have left of the goddamn old Carlissa is this goddamn nasty ass Morgan Freeman Afro. God damn, that's all we got left of the old Carlissa. God damn. Oh, look at Carlissa assistant. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bree. How you doing, Bree? Bree, you better tell Carlissa to calm down. Bree, I know she ain't the principal no more. I know she is scallywag, alcoholic, disrespecting you, her husband, them goddamn kids right now, Bree. Bree, I need you to take that goddamn pink slip and that goddamn envelope and run away from this raggedy ass scallywag and six ot and them toxic ass goddamn kids over there. Bree, goddamn, Bree, get your ass away from Carlissa right the hell now. Look at Mr. Sappho in the background standing behind Bree looking stupid. Look at Mr. Sappho. Mr. Sappho ain't got nothing to say with his simp ass. God damn. Look at Mr. Sappho and Bree. Mr. Sappho looking at Bree ass like he trying to fuck the assistant. God damn. This when Carlissa was Carlissa, god damn it. We don't get this from you no more, Carlissa. This is what we love. Instead, we get this bullshit. Okay, so he is said, it the yeah, drugs? I so she, she, is it the <gasps> drugs? So she just started using her inside voice to scream. So she started screaming on the inside, y'all. Is, is it the I'm drugs? The true story. I know everything. Okay. So she starts screaming on the inside. <gasps> I said, long as she ain't screaming on the outside, she doing what you told her to do. So she. Not too long after, she pushed Javon out, and they said nine pounds. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, you were supposed to give her two tattoos. So then a few months later, she didn't forget. She didn't forget. I didn't forget. Nobody forgot. He went and tattooed her name on his arm, too. And that's the, how that happened. So Carlissa got these goddamn kids making babies young, putting tattoos on their goddamn body, all type of shit. Goddamn. Krishan Rock, first taste of independence outside of her family home on the other side of the country by herself, making income, able to pay her bills, right? Her first time in a real committed relationship, living with someone. This is what she get as a fucking in-law. No wonder Rock made some of the crazy decisions she made in her goddamn life since she been in California. No fucking wonder. Now, what other story you wanna know about a motherfucker that don't fuck with me? Cause who else call their mama why they lay, why they woman in labor, and I'm in Ohio, mind I'm trying to get pregnant. Okay, I'm somewhere in three thousand miles away trying to get pregnant. My son come calling me talking about help me, mama help me. Same thing he did with that fucking restaurant. These bitches can't count, mama. Can you come help me? Sure, son. I'm on my way. Remember the son that don't fuck with me. So make sure y'all put it in y'all database, cause y'all said Andre hate my guts and. I'm doing this to him and I'm doing that to him. And, and that, these my fucking kids, I know what the fuck is wrong with them. They spoiled rotten because I did not know how to say no. 
and the apple don't fall too far from the tree. If they spoil you rotten, ain't shit ignorant and immature, it's because they got it from their goddamn mama. That's all, that's it, Carlissa. We don't need no long story about how you ain't shit. We don't need a long story about how the hell you about to go on and on and what you deserve because you sacrificed as a fucking mama. No, Morgan Freeman, that's not what we wanted from your motherfucking ass. Still no accountability on your part. Take your lean on me, Morgan Freeman afro, goddammit. Goddamn. And going about your goddamn business. Goddamn. Because right now, I'm goddamn tired of your goddamn mouth, goddammit. I don't know what the hell was wrong, Mr. Sappho. I don't know how he can put up with that shit. The military gave that man a whole lot of goddamn patience and a whole lot of goddamn stupidity, you dumb fuck. Goddamn. Ladies, please remember this YouTube channel is a comedy club. Each live stream is a stand-up comedy special. I want to laugh with you. I want to cry with you. I want to face fight. I want to smile with you, ladies. Peace. Hey, Ty oh my God, Tyron Moti, you're the person I just went live for. You made me cry. You made me cry because you just—I just know you—you you feel a real nigga. When you feel a real nigga, you just feel so lit. Tyron, 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 Tyron.